Hey viewers, my local bike co-op is having a garage sale, so I'm here to check it out. I really don't need any more bikes, but I can always use a few more odds and ends parts. But I'm looking for anything interesting that I can use to make some new videos. So, I'm going to have some fun. Well, I planned on shooting a bunch of video inside there showing all the stuff I saw, but I didn't get a chance to do that. It was just way too crowded and I was busy just looking at stuff and I also got a uh, chance to talk to a bunch of my viewers who recognized me and that was just a blast. So, I'm going to show you all the stuff that I actually bought and how much I paid for it. Now, when I walked in, one of the first things I saw was a bunch of wheels with Nexus hubs. And I've been wanting to do a video uh, with Nexus hubs, maybe overhauling, uh, just playing with it. And so, I found one, two, three, four, five wheels with Nexus hubs. And then I found just a unmounted uh, Nexus hub here for parts. Apparently, there's some problems in there. And I got all these for 20 bucks. And then they also threw in a, another pair of wheels here, uh, one with a, uh, like an Allen X rear hub and then just a uh, front hub here. They just threw that in. I think they just want to get rid of them. Well, now the next thing I saw was this Trek 4300. It's a pretty rough shape. It's missing the derailleurs, the chain. The fork is in rough shape, but it's got disc brakes. It's got eight-speed shifters, and so it's got promise. And so I tracked down my buddy who worked there and asked, how much he wanted for this bike. He told me I could have this bike for 20 bucks on one condition. I had to take this Allen X bike too. Now I didn't particularly want the Allen X bike because I already have one and they're not real popular because uh, they have these weird push pedal stuff in there. So I was like going well, but he told me I had to take the Allen X bike to get the truck and so I said okay. And he was serious about this. He actually followed me around and made sure I did not leave without taking this Alex. And he also told me I couldn't bring it back. So I'm stuck with this Alex and I'm not quite sure exactly what I'm gonna do with it yet, but uh, we'll see. Now, when I was loading the Trek up into my car, I took the front wheel off and something I noticed was on the inside of the fork there, there's a crack. So where the, the fork was in rough shape and I thought it might be repairable, it's toast. So I need to totally replace that fork. So I went over there where they had the forks and I found a couple forks that are set up for disc brakes here. Um, this one here is a uh, SR Suntour XCR and it's got a uh, straight steer run here. And so I think this will work on that bike. I'm not sure, I'll have to check. But it was in pretty good shape. But then there was also this one here. It's a RockShox uh, XC32. It's got a tapered steerer and it's set up for a, uh, a, a through axle, which I haven't played with yet. So um, I got the, these two and since I need wheels for a through axle, I found a couple mountain bike wheels here set up for disc brakes. And this one here, the front wheel set up for a through axle. And I got these two forks here and the pair of wheels all for 40 bucks. Now the next thing that caught my eye was this Klein full suspension mountain bike here. Uh, it's got disc brakes, it's got a uh, 2x9 drag train on here, uh, the, uh, it's got a, a Manitou uh, fork on the front and it looks like a, a Fox uh, shock on the back here. And it was originally it had a price up marked on there for $500. So they originally tried to sell it for $500. I asked how much it was and they said 60. So I'm like, that seems like a great deal. It's gonna need a bit of work, but for 60 bucks, I got full suspension, Klein mountain bike, great deal. But at this point, my car was full. So I'm like, I didn't have room to put this in my car. So I was gonna to have to go home, drop the stuff off in my car, and then come back to pick this up. So that's what I did. I dropped all the other stuff off, came back, and to get this bike. Now when I've been there earlier, I had seen this uh, frame here. It's a uh, specialized uh, XC Pro full suspension frame. It's got a uh, Rock Shock Recon fork on the front and a Fox Shock on the back. And I had asked how much it was, but there was another guy who already had dibs on this frame. So uh, my buddy told me that if the other guy backed out, that he'd go ahead and keep it for me. Well, when I came back, it turned out the other guy had backed out on this frame, yeah, it was a whole batch of frames. So I said, yeah, I'll go ahead and take this. Well, my buddy wanted me to take some of the other frames as well. And most of the frames I really didn't want. 
But there was another frame there. It was a Haro full suspension frame with a uh, um, Manito fork on the front and a Manito shock on the back, full suspension. And both of these frames are set up for disc brakes. They got the disc brake calipers and everything on there. So I got both of these frames for 20 bucks. Great deal. So now that I have a couple mountain bike frames, I'm going to need some mountain bike wheels. So I went over and looked at their wheels and I found these wheels here. Uh, they're a pair of Regina, looks like a Genius rims. And these were like literally brand new, you know, unused. And I got these for 20 bucks. Uh, unfortunately, they're not going to work on these bikes because they're not set up for uh, disc brakes or rim brakes. But they're tubeless. They're set up for tubeless. So I have not messed with tubeless tires yet. So this will give me the opportunity to play with some tubeless tires and get some, maybe get a video out of that. So I got all this cool stuff for a total of $180 and it's going to be a ton of fun to play with. I'm going to show I'm going to get some really cool videos out of it. So be sure to click the subscribe button so you, and the little bell so you get notified when those videos come out. It's going to be some cool stuff. Uh, thank you to the guys at Our Community Bikes for the great deals. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. And also follow me over Facebook because I'm sure I'm going to be posting some updates over there as well. So thank you for watching and see you next time.